Now I would like to talk about uh, diabetes and women. Generally there is a concept that diabetes, the incidence is less in women. It is not correct. Diabetes affects men and women equally. And uh, the other issues with the women with diabetes is generally the control of diabetes is poor in uh, women when compared to men. There are various reasons for that because especially in India if you see the women, the regular exercise will be lacking because they don't go out for walking and the, the other thing is that they don't take the medicines properly and they don't monitor their blood sugars regularly. So if you see the overall generally the control of diabetes is poor among women than men. men. The other issue is that in young women if you have diabetes they are going for pregnancy again we have a lot of issues during pregnancy and diabetes there will be a lot of complications during delivery and if you generally see the child weight is more so they uh, land up with cesarean and other complications. And the third thing is that many of the uh, women with diabetes, they develop uh, dyslipidemia because of lack of exercise. And uh, that is also adding to the risk for developing cardiovascular disease. So it is a myth that uh, diabetes won't affect uh, women. It, uh, diabetes affects both men and women equally. So and the complications of diabetes are more seen in women when compared to the men and especially in India. I would like to talk about uh, uh, lifestyle modification in diabetes. Generally they feel that everyone feels that the diabetes can be managed with medicine. But I can say that medicine alone is not enough. A li good lifestyle modification is an important factor in a good control of diabetes. Lifestyle modification includes so many factors. The main thing is the diet. The diet in diabetes makes a lot of difference in a good control. So you need to follow a strict diabetic diet like avoiding sweets, carbohydrates, etc. And the second thing is regular exercise as a part of your lifestyle. If you do regular exercise, the amount of diabetic medicines can be reduced. And the third thing is stress management. If you see nowadays young people especially they face a lot of stress. So when the stress is more, the diabetic control becomes poor. So you, you must learn to manage the stress effectively so that you get a good control of diabetes and you can avoid a lot of complications related to the diabetes. Thank you. Now, I would like to talk about how to prevent complications of diabetes. We all know that diabetes is a killer disease. It affects most of the organs in the body like eyes, kidneys, nerves, heart and also the nerve, um, peripheral arteries causing diabetic food. So it's very important that you prevent such complications you can, so that you can save our life and major uh, uh, incidence of death. So the main thing is that you must have a good control of diabetes in order to prevent the complications. And uh, I'm sure that uh, if you take regular medicines, diabetes will be under control. But there is a certain stage, maybe after 15 years, 20 years, that medicines are not enough, you may have to shift over to the insulin to prevent further complications. You must go for a regular checkup to the doctor, identify the complications early so that we can treat the complications. For example, you'll have to evaluate for the eyes, kidneys, heart, etc. Every checkup or once in six months at least to identify the complications early so that we can treat at an optimal time so that we can prevent the complications of the complication of diabetes. That is very important.